Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info, and today we're reviewing the 10 watt solar charging power bank from LoveNet. In the past, if you owned a power bank with built in solar panels, you were looking at a fairly normal sized portable bank with a panel or sometimes multiple panels attached to that bank. And while this form factor did and does work, charging is usually pretty slow due to the small size of those panels. If you want faster charging, you can always go out and get bigger panels, but then you're also going to have to go out and purchase a separate power bank if you want to store that power for later use. Well, the LoveNet power solution brings the best of both worlds, providing you with larger panels and a built-in bank. The dual panels support up to 10 watt charging and I was able to fully charge the bank outdoors in good sunlight in around four and a half hours, which is actually faster than LoveNet's claims of a five hour charge. This may sound like a long time, but it's actually a decent result, especially since it's early spring here in the middle of the United States and charging conditions are still a couple months from optimal. It would be an even better result, except I'm not sure the bank's rated capacity of 10,000 milliamp hours is completely accurate. When I used the bank to charge up my phone's 5,000 milliamp hour battery, it was able to fully charge it. But after draining the phone's battery and attempting to charge it again, I was only able to pull a 5% charge. This means the bank was only able to output about 5,200 milliamp hours instead of 10,000 milliamp hours. Now, no power bank is 100% efficient, but this result is a little bit lower than one would normally expect. Whether this is due to any efficiency or the bank's capacity is impossible to tell. So what this really boils down to is using the panels allows you to store up about one large smartphone charge in around four and a half hours, which still isn't bad. So the panels are doing their job pretty well, but what about the bank? Well, as we just mentioned, you can expect to get around 5,200 milliamp hours of transferred power. And that power can be accessed through the bank's three USB ports which are conveniently located and can be used even when the panels are folded up. These ports consist of two standard USB Type-A output ports and one USB Type-C port that also acts as an input port when you want to charge from the wall. The ports have rubber covers to protect them when they are not in use and helps contribute to the bank's IPX4 rating. And an IPX4 rating means the bank should be able to withstand splashes of water and light rain, but you will probably want to bring it inside for anything heavier and you will definitely not want to submerge the thing. The three ports do provide nice flexibility when charging, but charging speeds aren't exactly world beating. I was only able to pull around eight or nine watts of max charge when filling up my phone. And even that number dropped while charging multiple devices. And input speeds are similar. This means charging up the bank from the wall really isn't much faster than charging with the sun in good conditions. Now keep in mind in the not too distant past we used to use a 5 watt power brick like this to charge a lot of our devices and while the bank can at least outperform that it is a bit slower than some other modern banks. Nothing's perfect. The rest of the bank's features are solid and pretty much what you would expect. The bank is firmly attached to the panels and the whole product, including the built-in kickstands, feels sturdy and well-made. And it does this without feeling too heavy or being too bulky. It has a built-in flashlight and the standard built-in protection protocols you would expect. Finally, let's talk price. Right now you can pick up this bank on the Zon for $32.99. And for that you get the solar bank, a carabiner, a user guide, and a USB-A to USB-C cable that can be stored in the bank's pouch. And I have to say this isn't a bad price for this product. Yes, there could be more usable power, and yes, wall and device charging could be quicker. But for $33 you get 10 watt solar panels and a power bank all in one convenient package. And that package will almost certainly be cheaper than if you bought the panels and the bank separately. So considering the price point, despite some imperfections, I think the 10 watt LoveNet power bank is still worth a look. Agreed. And if you wind up picking up this solar bank combo, please feel free to come back here and leave your experiences down in the comments. That way we can all continue to learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.